Hey, how you doing? Sean McGough here. I came out today. I wasn't going to come out. And I was just talking to my friend's mom. And uh, let me go back. If you follow me, then you know I believe I talk to God. He talks to me. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe we all get coincidences. And that spirit, that's God. That's whatever you want to believe. But I believe each and, one of, each and every one of us, all that shit they used to... Uh, try not to swear. It's a long story. There's a lot of swearing going on in my head. So I won't get it all out that I want to get out. It'd be a lot funnier if I could just let it ride. But I'm not going to... I'll post a video where I don't, uh, where I let it ride. Maybe you tell me if it's funny or if it's too far. I don't know. I know I go too far. That's the way to go to get my hand out of the way. Anyway, where the hell was I? I made a video happy Saturday, and it was, you know, just, I had one viewer. I wasn't going to make one, because I made one for every day. And I had, I checked today, and nobody watched it. I said, ah, nobody gives a shit. And then I had one viewer, and I said, well, that's great. It's probably my shrink. That was the joke I made on the video. And then I realized a long time ago, I said, yeah, I keep having one viewer, and maybe that's God. He's telling me keep going. So anyway, coincidence, yeah. Call me crazy. I'm all right with that. I deal with all the problems I've got. I'm just trying to help you. Hey, 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 it's just a puddle. That's my crazy dog. I... She was supposed to help me calm down, and my kids say she took after me, so now she's a grungy bitch. Anyway, that being Jesus. I, oh, Jesus, 3D, I broke this thing the other day. Anyway, I stopped, I started driving along, it was pouring rain, that was on my video. Well, the funniest thing is, I'm listening to Kit Bowles, well, I'll let me go back where I was. Jesus, I was like I said, oh my God, I suck at this. I don't know if I'll post this or not. It's, I make these for my kids to watch where their dad is, what he's going through, what to say. Is other people can watch it. Follow along, make you laugh. I call myself a guy. If I make you laugh, I'm happy about that. That makes my day. I've made four people laugh today, including my friend's mom. She's a sweetheart. Love it at that. Anyway, where the hell was it? Oh, I was telling her the story. I said, yeah. It was funny. I was at home, and I'm watching. That's on my other video. I'm watching Kit Boger. He does Scamming the Scammers. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call on my phone, and it's one of those scammers. So I said, oh, well. I might be, I've been thinking about going for a walk all day with the dog. I might as well get my ass out there and get this out of the way. It's pouring rain. Horrible, horrible. So I put the dog in the car and I started driving. I said, God, if you're going to help me today, help me get this rain. Stop it. Will you please? That's what I asked for. Weather. <laughs> um, I asked for a winning lottery ticket the other day. And I was joking. God, don't answer them that way. I, well, I don't think he does, but every so often, <laughs> coincidence. I had seven bucks, I bought seven dollars in tickets, and I asked them to make me win ten dollars so I could buy five of the tickets I like, and I won ten dollars. I'm like, son of a, I never asked for anything good. Anyway, I know that's coincidence, but I find it hilarious. Anyway, like I said, I got the phone call, it says, you got a package. Oh, that was what I was wanting to say. Be careful this year. I haven't seen too many porch pirates. I've talked to the DHL and the UPS guys and all the postal guys, and there haven't been that many people going around stealing packages and following them yet this year. But because of the supply chain backups and all that, there's going to be a lot more. So you better keep your eye on each other's packages. America, look out for each other. Oh, I got a policeman coming. Although this is legal, I'm okay. I'm using a hands-free device here. You know I can break it. God bless you, Tom. Hope everyone's all right. Anyway, that's what I do. What the hell? I pray for people. Anyway, I'm telling my friend's mom, I said, yeah, I think God wanted me to get my fat ass out there and work. I said, the funny part is, I usually come down here when I'm feeling God and I get a nice big steak and cheese sub, I share it with the dog. I said, but instead I had two hard boiled eggs, I fed the dog at home and now I'm not hungry. I really want that sub, but I'm not going to do it. And in days past, I would do it. So maybe that's God helping me not be such a fat ass. I always pray, help me help. It doesn't hurt to pray. I swear too much, I know. Oh, look at the little drum of boy. Well, not the drum boy, little night. <laughs> they had to make him gay too like nobody knew <laughs> come on really who wears those tights come on although I did go through that bodybuilding spandex phase so eh, it is what it is <laughs> you wouldn't know it now to look at I used to be pretty fat oh look at that we got the police the pirates everybody I love that Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to post. I'm not sure if I'm posting these or not. I hope I entertain you. Try and keep them under 10 minutes. But anyway, where the hell was I? God, who the hell be? Huh? That's how we grow. It takes me a second sometimes to focus, and then I get back on. You shouldn't be amazed. My meds are working great. Oh, yeah. So I'm talking to my friend's mom, and I'm telling her about Kip Boger, and then we're joking around. And I said, you know what's funny, Berta? When I first got in the car, I said, God, please let it stop raining so I don't get soaked go with the car and I told her I don't believe in coincidences I believe God's around us and sometimes he shows himself and we just don't pay attention if everybody paid more attention 
you find God. It's not like what you think it is, not miracles. It's not going to, he's there with you. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I know it's crazy. Yeah, you call me crazy. I don't give a shit. I'm telling you, those coincidences you see, when you hear that shit they used to say, and I never believed it, that God is in each one of us, oh, that's what it is. He's looking at you. He ain't going to fix you all the time, but he's looking at you. He's checking in on you. Somebody is anyway. Anyway, that being said, oh, holy, I got to go up here because it's like a 30 foot. I got to give him a little something. Sorry about that. Where the hell was I going? Well, anyway, so I go to the Dunkin' Donuts. I'm talking to the kid at Dunkin' Donuts. He had crazy hair. He colored it. I made a joke about it. I said, yeah, back in my day, if a boy colored his hair, we'd make fun of him. And, you know, nowadays you can't say it, but we'd be like, well, you know, did you switch to the other team? What's going on? And he goes, are you kidding me? I got all kinds of girls with his hair, this, that, the other thing. And we would joke in. And I said, that's awesome. I said, you know, you give me hope for this generation. He was a young kid and he's working and he's busting his ass, you know. I said, that's awesome. He's going to school. And then I just said, you know, I got to ask you, I know it's a loaded question, but do you believe in God? And this is why I'm making this video now, because I... Man, this kid, he pulls out his crucifix. He said, are you kidding me? Uh-oh, oh, where's my crucifix? I thought I lost it. Oh, I lose a lot of stuff. He says, damn straight I do. And I laughed like hell. I didn't know what to say. I said, amen, brother. You know what? You just made my old day. That's This might be, people call it coincidence, but I needed you today. I needed something to reinforce what I believe. And, you know, sometimes it's those little things, but you're my guardian angel today. I believe there's ones all around us. And he said, amen, brother. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, so I told Berta the joke. And I said, the funny part is, Berta, I got soaking wet talking to this kid for like 10 minutes. The rain was pouring down. And I pulled away, and as I'm waiting to pull into the street, all the rain stopped. It stopped raining. And I, I know she says, well, that's a coincidence. It's just been raining off on, on and off all day. I said, I know that's a coincidence, Berta. But after this kid and the energy he showed and just his total belief in the Lord and God, and, and then it stopped raining, I find that hilarious. Call it a coincidence, if you will. I find it hilarious. Anyway, so she laughed, and then... I had to take the dog out for a walk, and it's still not raining, which is pretty hilarious to me. But it's sprinkling now. I don't mind the sprinkles. I kind of like it. Like the days gone by. Anyway, my wife still used to walk with me. <laughs> That's a long story. Anyway, I got a story about that story, which is leads to another story. I don't have that much time to tell all these stories. So maybe I'll tell them to someone else later. Anyway, by the time I got done with... Oh, a Michigan flag. Look at that. I think they're going to win this championship. I don't know. It's going to be a great game. I hope it's Bammer and Michigan. I don't usually bet against Bama, but something tells me Michigan. It ain't gone. So I don't take my betting word. It ain't gone. <laughs> you follow me, I'll lead you down a wrong path at some point. Don't do it. You just follow and laugh if I make you laugh. All right, if I start selling you the future, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, that being said, Berta laughed like hell. I said, you know what? Did I make you laugh, Berta? She said, you always make me laugh. I'm always wonderful after I see you. I said, well, that makes me so happy. And you know what, Berta? Whenever I feel God, I take a ride. I come down here and try to bring him to you and bring him to my old town just because I still have a lot of people who talk, even though they know I'm crazy as hell. <laughs> uh, when I tell somebody about my experience with God, he says, too, can I see help? I still have got a lot of it. <laughs> he's, he's like, did you pay? <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny. That's how friends joke with each other. You can joke about everything under the sun as long as you're funny. That's what I've always believed. Anyway, that being said, oh, that's where I wanted to go. Check out Kevin's Corner and the, the newest video he has about that crazy march in Washington. <laughs> I think it was Washington, where it was supposed to be white supremacists or some crazy shit like that. And they all got the FBI haircut, and they got their faces covered with the whole baklava, whatever they call it, or is that food? I get those confused. Anyway, the thing covers your whole eye. You're telling me if that was a real white supremacist march, that the press wouldn't follow each and every one of those people, where they live, where they go, where they're doing, and out them? That every one of those little Antifa sons of bitches wouldn't have got on their little skateboards and followed them to the ends of the earth and found out where they lived and outed them? Are you kidding me? And a real person who loves America and the Constitution, we don't hide our faces, mother effers. 
We love God, we love America, and that's the way it is. We don't hide our faces. That's FBI or that's that Lincoln Log Cabin BS bullshit rhinos. Stop believing the bullshit, America. Go to Independent News. Check out Kevin's Corner. Love you, God bless.